Okay, who amongst you remembers this? The Ion USB turntable. Well, I've decided to do a few little modifications to it. It still has the same pickup and the same turntable. So it's still the same ceramic pickup and everything. But if we take a look at the front, the label just fell off. It's lost its stickiness. But if we take a look underneath it, you may be able to notice some botch wiring here that I've done. And this is the little modification that I've made to it. Now, I don't know if I did a video of this before, but in an earlier video that I don't know if I did a video of it or not, I actually um, tapped the original preamp board that this had and attached the uh, RCA output jacks to it and also an external power wire. Well, I've gone a bit further with this and just completely removed that board and put in my own preamp. And this is a um, this is based on the what's it called now piezo match amplifier preamp that I saw on YouTube. The only difference is that I'm using a different preamp chip. This is a TL. No, it's not a TL at all. It's a uh, I can't remember. It's an N I think it's an MJM four five five eight. That I've used, where the original used a TL072. The same type of thing, it's a dual op amp, so it works. And it's a very, very simple circuit. As you can see, I've just done it all with point to point wiring, just simply because I couldn't find any spare perf board and I couldn't actually get this chip off its original circuit board. If I could just get the camera in there. You can see it's still got its original circuit board on there. I couldn't get it out, I just cut around the circuit board and did it that way. And my camera battery's running out and I only just charged it. Anyway, for those of you interested, this is the circuit. It's basically the piezo match or piezo match circuit. I've only drawn one channel in here. For those of you who want to see the full circuit, I will put a link to the um, video that this circuit is, you know, based on. The only difference is with my circuit is that Instead of using a TL072 op amp, I've used a MJN, no, sorry, NJM4558L. And these two 100k resistors, in my circuit they're 10k resistors, because that really won't have any effect on the sound quality. But talking of which, let's hear how this thing sounds. So here's the record player ready to play, and I have it connected up to my up to this cassette deck here, which I'm also using to mix in the sound of the microphone. And I've got it connected to my homemade power supply. So, I'll turn that on. Might have heard a slight pop in the speakers when I did that. Now, let's hear some music. Fancy bit of Judas Priest. Hope this doesn't get me copyright infringement stuff, but whatever. Alright, I'm not going to play any more of that, just in case. Now, a little bit of who. Now, a little bit of Steel I Span. Unfortunately, no, I dropped this record just a moment ago, and now it's got a great big scratch in it, which I'm not very happy about, but... At least it wasn't on one of the very wasn't on one of the songs I actually like, so that's okay. Okay, you might remember this from one of my earlier record demonstrations. Sound of 
And finally, I thought I'd throw in some classical music for good measure, and unfortunately this record is not in the best condition. You can't even hear the quiet parts over the scratches. So I'll play one of the loud parts, and unfortunately it's so old it's not even in stereo, but whatever. go. Anyway, now I'm going to show in some video footage that I did earlier. This was actually going to be part of another YouTube video that I never bothered to upload because I just did it so terribly, but in the next few clips, well the next three clips, we're going to see, we're going to hear a proper magnetic pickup with a magnetic cartridge amplifier. Then we're going to hear the sound from this with its original preamp still in and the output tapped directly from its original preamp. And then this with the preamp that I made for it while it was still while I was still working on it so let's have that and uh, I guess that'll be it for then we're gonna do a little experiment now I'm gonna play this record only a little tiny bit of it this is probably about one of the only records I have that won't get me into any copyright well don't think it'll get into any copyright issues and I have it playing through my homemade amplifier, which has the uh, record player preamp in it. And it's going into this, and along this wire, and into the computer. Which is still recording actually, for some reason. I don't remember leaving that recording. Anyway, I'll start that making a new recording, and I'll play the record. And I'll patch in the sound. So we can compare the sound of the record players. Right, so this is magnetic cartridge. Right, okay, that's enough of that. Now we're going to hear the output from the little ion audio thing and I don't know if I already did a video about this but I made a little change to this thing as you can see I've botched some wires onto the circuit board so this is where um, the audio I mean this is where the power now comes in and on the back there were provisions for RCA jacks and I have added a couple of RCA jacks and they go straight to the output of the preamp that's in this little circuit board here so let's hear how this sounds playing the same record let's play that record on this and hear how that sounds through its own preamp Okay, that should be enough. And uh, putting the pun on the thing here, set the record straight. I don't give a rat's ass about football. Okay, well, just before I take the circuit board out and replace it with my own experimental preamp, I just thought I'd show you what I've done. Now, you can see two transistors. Well, you would be able to see them if the stupid camera. There we go. You can see these two transistors here. This 
is the entire preamp or the thing. Just those two little transistors there. And I've soldered the wires onto those two transistors and they go to these phono jacks that I've added right there. And this is the power wire. As you can see it is just simply soldered onto where the power goes in on that little bit right there. But anyway, I can remove this circuit and let's replace this with my preamp. Okay, now it is the moment of truth. I have done some surgery on this. You might be able to see that the guts are now all gone. Or you would be able to if I was pointing the camera at it. So the output of the cartridge is now connected directly to this little preamp circuit that I made. Let's see if the sound quality is any better. Okay, that should be enough of that. Right, let's compare those results.